Part two, station two, forcible entry. At the completion of the step up, the candidate will turn to their left and proceed out to the forcible entry. When they move over to the forcible entry, the sledgehammer will be in an upright position. They'll grasp the sledgehammer with two hands, using a safe technique, continuously swing the sledgehammer and hit the force plate until the force plate goes in flush with the machine. Once the force plate is flush with the machine, the candidate will be instructed by the assessor to stop. The sledgehammer will be placed down on the ground in an upright position, the exact same way they found it, and the candidate may then proceed on to the next exercise. When coming over and picking up the sledgehammer, the candidate will ensure they always have a firm grip with two hands on the sledgehammer. When coming to this station, this station becomes more about the safety of the assessors and the crew members involved. The candidate needs to ensure the head of the hammer always comes in contact with the forcible entry plate. Anytime the candidate does anything that puts any of the safety of the assessors or crew at risk, the candidate will be failed. At completion of this station, once the candidate has been told by the assessor that they are successful, the sledgehammer is to be placed in an upright position on the head, the exact same way the candidate found it. If the candidate swings over the top at any stage and misses the force plate and the machine altogether, this puts the safety of everyone around them at risk and the candidate will be failed. If the candidate swings the hammer and comes in contact with the force plate, and after coming in contact with the force plate, comes in contact with the forcible entry rig, the candidate has put the safety of those around them at risk and the candidate will be failed. If the candidate swings the sledgehammer and misses the force plate altogether and only comes in contact with the rig, the candidate has put the safety of the crew at risk again and will immediately be failed. If the candidate is full of adrenaline at the end of it and throws the hammer on the ground, they will be penalised with time only for care of equipment. The candidate will be forced to come back, stand the sledgehammer up on its edge before they're able to proceed onto the next station.